हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस सर्किट इन वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस सर्किट द वोल्टेज इज डिवाइडेड फॉर बायसिंग टू ऑब्टेन स्टेबल ऑपरेटिंग पॉइंट सो इन वोल्टेज डिवाइडर बायस सर्किट वोल्टेज इज डिवाइडेड फॉर बायसिंग to obtain stable operating point this is the circuit for voltage divider biasing here vcc is the biasing voltage that is applied across both the collector terminal as well as the base terminal so at base terminal two resistors are connected r1 and r2 here the voltage will be divided that's why it is known as voltage divider bias circuit here rc is the output resistance or the resistance connected across the collector terminal of an transistor re is the emitter resistance which is used for stability r1 and r2 are the voltage divider bias resistors vce is the collector to emitter voltage ve is the emitter voltage vbe is base to emitter voltage which is 0.7 volts vb is the base voltage ic is the collector current or output current ie is the emitter current ib is the base current i2 is the current flowing through the resistor r2 and i1 is the current flowing through the resistor r1 here i1 will be equal to ib plus i2 here capacitor c1 and c2 are connected across input as well as output so these capacitors are known as coupling capacitors which allows only ac signal to pass through the device it will block dc signal and it will pass only the ac signal here you need to remember that i2 will be equal to 10 times ib so i2 should be equal to 10 times ib so this is very important for biasing also we should remember that vbe will be equal to 0.7 volts here vb will be equal to vbe plus ve so vb will be equal to vbe plus ve also beta can be given as ic divided by ib so here beta is current gain which can be given as output current divided by input current so output current is ic input current is ib so we can write beta is equal to ic divided by ib from this we can write ic is equal to beta times ib we know we can write ie is equal to ic plus ib since ic is equal to beta times ib we can write ie is equal to beta ib plus ib therefore we can write ie is equal to ib into beta plus 1 you need to remember all these formulas which are very important while solving the problems now let us simplify this voltage divider bias circuit using thevenin's theorem using the thevenin's theorem we will simplify the input side let us consider the input side here we are having vcc r1 r2 which is connected to ground so this is the input side circuit which we need to simplify so in between we are having the voltage vb so in thevenin's theorem a complex circuit is replaced with a single voltage source and a resistor so here we can find the thevenin's voltage between these two points so between vb and ground and we can write vth is equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into vcc 
we have written voltage between VB and ground which is taken as VTH. So VTH will be equal to resistor in that branch where we are finding the voltage divided by sum of the resistances multiplied with source voltage. So we have written VTH is equal to resistor in that branch where we are measuring the voltage divided by sum of the resistances multiplied by source voltage. So we can replace it with a single voltage source which is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 into VCC. And we need to find the Thevenin's resistance so which is equal to RTH that can be written as R1 parallel with R2. So in this input side circuit the R1 is parallel with R2 that's why we have written RTH is equal to R1 parallel with R2. So that can be written as R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this circuit can be replaced with a single voltage source which is equal to VTH and single resistor which is equal to RTH so which will be connected to the remaining part of the circuit. So let us rewrite the voltage divided by a circuit. So this is the circuit after simplification. This circuit is known as Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So we have kept the output side as it is. So the output side is kept as it is. We are not changing any output side. So we have simplified only the input side using Thevenin's theorem. Now using this circuit, let us derive the expression for input current, output current as well as the output voltage. Now let us apply KVL to input side. If we consider only the input side, if we apply KVL, the current will be flowing in clockwise direction. So we can write VTH minus IBRB minus VBE minus IERE is equal to zero. So we can write VTH minus IBRTH minus VBE minus IERE is equal to zero. Since IE is equal to IB into one plus beta, we can write VTH minus IBRTH minus VBE minus IB into 1 plus beta into RE is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can take IB as common. So we can write VTH minus VBE minus IB if we take common. So we can write RTH plus 1 plus beta into RE is equal to 0. Therefore, we can write the expression for input current IB is equal to VTH minus VBE divided by RTH plus 1 plus beta into RE. So this is the expression for input current. Now let us consider the output side and let us apply KVL to output side. If we apply KVL at the output side, we can write VCC minus ICRC minus VCE minus IERE is equal to 0. So we can write VCC minus ICRC minus VCE minus IERE is equal to 0. Since we need to find the operating point, therefore we need to find the expression for IC and VCE. From the above equation, we can write IC is equal to VCC minus VCE minus IERE divided by 
RC. So this is the expression for IC which is output current. From the same equation we can find the expression for VCE. We can write VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC minus IERE. So we can write VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC minus IERE. So this is the expression for VCE which is output voltage. By finding the value of IC and VCE, we can find the operating point. Also, you need to remember to make IE insensitive to temperature and beta variations. We need to keep VTH very much greater than VBE and RE should be very much greater than Rb plus 1 plus beta. Also, to provide large voltage swing, we need to keep Vbe is equal to Vth that will be equal to 1 by 3 times Vcc and Vce will be equal to Icrc that should also be equal to 1 by 3 VCC. This is about voltage divided by a circuit. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.